541 AD, the Roman Empire is at the pinnacle of its success, its borders stretching far and wide. It had conquered all its human enemies, but an unseen enemy was lurking in the shadows. This enemy was a bacterial infection commonly known as the Plague of Justinian. This horrendous pandemic's name derives from the powerful Byzantine Emperor Justinian, who tried to restore the Roman Empire to its former glory through a series of military campaigns in an effort to retake lands that had been overrun by barbarian tribes. While he was militarily successful, his people suffered from this plague. The plague of Justinian was quite possibly one of the worst bacterial infections in human history. The Romans and the rest of the world had no idea what they were in for. This deadly killer's origins trace back to the grain fields of Egypt. Egypt's largest and most lucrative export at the time was grain. Virtually all areas of the Mediterranean received grain shipments from Egypt every day. Unfortunately, the Egyptian granaries were filthy. They were often filled with disease-ridden rats and fleas. And this is precisely how the plague of Justinian was able to spread throughout the world. These infected rats often stowed away on the grain ships that voyaged throughout the world. This continuously spread the disease farther north until it reached the bustling hub of commerce and culture known as Constantinople. The disease was also transmitted via fleas that were carried by the rats. Direct contact with an infected flea or rat almost always resulted in the contraction of the disease. From that point on, the disease was spread amongst domesticated animals and through human interaction. One of the largest cities in the world at the time, Constantinople served as a perfect catalyst for the deadly contagion to spread throughout the Roman Empire. Historians have reached a consensus that the plague killed an average of 10,000 people per day throughout this vast city. After ravaging the Great Roman Empire, the plague inflicted massive casualties on Arab nations, most of Europe and even China. The plague killed over half the population of Europe, and half a century after it began, between 25 and 100 million had died in total. Nearly everyone who fell victim to the plague died in a matter of days, some not even surviving the first day of infection. Though the survival rate of this disease remains unknown, it is widely assumed that very few who were infected staved off the pestilence. Though the initial outbreak ended in 542 AD, the plague resurfaced throughout the 6th, 7th and 8th centuries to claim many more lives. This plague brought havoc on its victims. Symptoms included the formation of grotesque cysts that spread quickly across the body, a raging fever that would develop shortly before the cysts began appearing, and hallucinations that would slowly deteriorate the mind. The unbearable pain caused by the cysts in unison with the steady mental degradation made surviving the disease a near impossible task. These cysts, when fully developed, cause excruciating pain to radiate throughout the entire body. The victims who died on the first day of the initial infection were considered to be the lucky ones. For those who endured the pain eventually lost their minds to the dreadful disease. Evidence from genetic studies of the bacterium causing this disease show that it could have possibly been a strand of the bubonic plague, which originated from the rod-shaped bacterium known as Yersinia pestis, which is now extinct. Another possible explanation for this disease's origin is that it came from an unknown pathogen entirely unrelated to the bubonic plague. In summation, the plague of Justinian has been categorized as one of the top 10 most catastrophic plagues in recorded human history. Wiping out entire populations, it has taken the world centuries to recover from its tremendous losses. Egypt's largest and most lucrative export at the time was grain. Virtually all areas of the Mediterranean received grain shipments from Egypt every day. Unfortunately for the Egyptians. <laughs>